Okay, let's jump into the new battle pass. Boom. So I actually subs I, uh, upgraded it, but I didn't actually look at what is there. Okay, Twerk Classic. Kind of looks like an old... This looks like something from like Call of Duty World at War, I think. Or this is like... I don't even know. Wait, is a classic skin normally look chunky like that? No, that thing looks extra chunky. Okay, that's a chunky-ass classic. A uh, little canteen buddy. Wait, this is actually just like the war battle pass. Okay, that's cute. Um, bu Bullet box, Red Sea? All right. Some Halloween stuff. Wait, I fuck with this bear right here. What happened with your voice? Hold up. Oh my God, is my is the voice freaking out again? God damn it. Sorry, my voice changer turned off. Let me fix it real quick. Let's um, let's actually jump into the rest of this without my with my voice changer turned on. So we have the little nice Halloween battle pass right here. We got treat. I wonder if we'll have a trick. Um, what's it called? Title. Viper just chilling in the that. Oh, I thought this was a battle. I thought this was a player card for a second. This thing would have been hard. Um. Okay, that's that's a player card. Okay. Bullet box. This kind of looks like um. What, what's that game called? Borderlands. Does the artwork look kind of like Borderlands? I guess it's just like the really like dark and fine shading that I'm seeing in like in the middle of the gun, and just the way the gun looks. But it does look like Borderlands to me. I don't know why. Is this a is this a teaser for the new agent or is this a is this like a new map teaser? I'm not even sure. Nano break spray, okay. Radiantite, nano break buddy, nano break judge. Uh, the judge actually looks pretty nice. Ghosted, oh, that's a devious title. Um, a nice little Bucky right there. Torque card, torque spray, torque specter. Yes, this kind of does look like a really like old war vibe for the the battle passes. It's like it's like switching between Borderlands kind of futuristic looking gun. Like this looks like Fragpunk to me, and then looking like something from real life, but like real vi real life in an alternate universe. Um, no controller spray. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to put that on for rank so when my composition is just completely shafted, and then I can spray that. Um, Mummy Mans. Okay. Ooh. I, I don't know how... Wait, do you like this? I don't... I, I don't know how I feel about this one. The op? I don't know. It, it looks too like... Hmm. It's not for me. It, yeah, it's really chunky. I, I, I don't know why I don't like it. There's something about it. Okay, this card... This card fucks. I hope this is the epilogue um, the golden tier card. This card actually fucks. Bro, what? This card is actually insane. This is an S tier card right here, in my opinion. Some Knight, Scribble Pal Prowler. Watch them run. Oh, shit. Is that Fade? Okay. Fade in the nice, like, Halloween costume. Um, got the Nano Brick Odin. Okay. Par Paracord. Hamburger. Oh no, her. Oh, Hermber Hermburger. Okay. Chainsaw. And then this guardian. Dude, I, okay, wait. I'm thinking about would I rather have the bullet box or the other gun to be the knife? Bullet box or the nano break? I think the nano break would look better. An aura title. New TDM map. Oh yeah, we could definitely search for the new TDM map. Uh, we got that bullet box card. Okay, now it looks like Mad Max. Um, torqued van. Ew. Okay, wait. This one's like an EU, but I kind of like it. I don't know why. I like this infinitely more than I like the op, but this one's still like a. It's kind of like a yuck. This this looks like my. This is like a guilty pleasure wielding this one. I think. I, I don't know. It, it looks disgusting, but for some reason I feel like this would hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh Marshall lantern oh my god and then we have the is this reina is that reina reina vampire card i mean that's kind of like on brand i would say let's see what else cosmic guide pixel tacta bunny nano break phantom this actually looks pretty nice i'd say <laughs> chillin <laughs> wait this one's pretty this one's cute as fuck um little chamber card 
I think we should nerf chamber. Neon's a little bit too good right now. Um, Torque buddy at the seams. This one was kind of trippy. What the fuck? It's like, <laughs> okay. And then we have a torqued coiler. Ooh. Okay. I do not like the knife at all. Ew. What the fuck is this thing? Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how I don't like that. That is, that's a that's a goofy melee for sure. Nano breaks sh sheriff and striking distance car. Wait, what one's the the agent teaser? Wait, are we getting double agents? Imagine they release two agents at the same time. How much would that break the game? Because that normally they have a teaser or either around the last spot or somewhere in the battle pass. And I don't understand what this is. And it says suppression tech. And then there's this one, which looks like it could also be an agent teaser. Oh, suppression's KO. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that does make sense. Never mind. Okay, so if that's KO already, then this one would be the new card. Wait, imagine if they actually did release twin agents, though. That would actually be pretty cool. Um, okay, let's look at the epilogue. We have... Okay, golden. Oh, no. They get the golden fucking burger card? Nah, that's not it. Bro, if they had the golden card of the, the cool ghost dudes... Like, dude, this would be so fucking sick. It, it doesn't even have to be the... It could have just been like the ghost as per normal, but the glasses, the gun, and the bow tie are just golden. And I think that'd look way better. I don't like the burger one. Also, this burger is way too massive. I don't know how you would fit this burger in your mouth. There's way too much meat. This is not a good proportion burger at all. I do know that mid got changed. So let's do the grand reveal. Drum roll, please. Mid looks. Ooh. Okay. I actually like this a lot more. I think the slants was kind of shit. And like, if you did want to push down mid, it felt like you were in like an angle that you would either commit to, cause it would be like this, right? And you would either be stuck here looking like this and then someone clears you from this side or you're stuck here looking like this and then someone clears you from this side. So I actually like this a lot better because I feel like there's actually a dynamic that you can do where you can late walk down mid and play in a spot to get like a one and done. I think uh, that's pretty nice. So I do actually like the mid changes a lot. I mean, RIP to the tree that was here, but whatever. But so far, I, I like this change. I mean, okay, only mid and B got changed, correct chat? Honestly, I would say A actually has a good design as a site because A as a site is an actual site where you play inside. Like people play here, people play here, people play here, you see here, you see there, you see people pushing aside like this. It, it It's a drastic, like it's polar opposite to like B where people would plant the pillar and just run away and then play B main. So I do think um, this site actually is a well-designed site. And for that reason, I do like Sunset a lot um, compared to like other maps. See the B change, did B main get changed at all or no? We'll just see. I can look at Gecko changes right after. So B is looking like normal up to here. And ooh, box and a box. Ooh, okay, I like this more too. If someone's playing here, you can actually wall bang them and it feels like like before there was like this one angle and it just kind of felt really annoying because like people will just play inside you can't really kill them a neon could go here and the slide kill someone and get out for free and overall just felt kind of weird now it feels a little bit better in my opinion i think this orb i can't tell if this orb might be too attacker friendly now it's hard to say but i think that's like maybe the only issue i could see with this part because before since this box wasn't here in order to grab the orb you had to be kind of cautious whoa oh my god uh you have to be kind of cautious of this angle but um no more cypher god trip yeah that's actually a, that's a huge w they should rework whatever map and like take out whatever cypher god trips are available in the maps i think cypher god trips i mean for the pro scene they function fine because people know how to play around them but i think for ranked it completely just fucks over everything because if you don't have a sova and you're playing against a cypher god trip you lose the game automatically on attack side you're lucky to get like one round and that's just based off the fact that cypher could literally anchor down like fucking one site entirely if you don't have a sova if you don't have a raise you're fucked so that was like the the two things that like i was kind of upset about on this map in particular where if you're playing ranked there's a high chance that you probably won't have what you need to take the site so going out here cypher god trip gone whoa holy fuck it looks way different i like this entry path a lot more i think um so it does feel like you can kind of go out here and peek out a little bit better like i didn't really like how the angles were you go out to the pillar and then you're like stuck in like an angle that's you can get peeked from three different sides 
I thought that was kind of not the greatest, but I, I do think this is a little bit better. I mean, this feels like a safer spot. Also for like post plant and stuff, it feels like, oh, I can play here and not really be um, scared of like this angle because they're going to have to like hard clear like this. Whereas someone else could probably like refrag that. Um, going up here, they also changed the plant spots. So the plant spots are, there's another safe plant here. You can plant like deeper right here. Um, more boxes added to the site for post plant as well, which is good. Pretty healthy, I'd say. Um, I would, I would say I like it so far. I wonder if there's like any interesting stuff that. Hmm, not sure. Good changes so far. I actually, I actually think it's good. I this spot. I mean, I don't really know who would plant here. Is this a plant spot? Oh my god! Wait, this spot isn't a plant spot. Only this. Whoa! Is this wall makeable? Oh no, it isn't. Maybe with an Odin. Oh, Odin map now. Um. Okay, so that's a plant spot. You can plant on all this and jump up looks like this now. Actually, I like these changes a lot. Yeah, you have to do a larger fall than going up there. Um, CT spawn. Whoa. Okay. Everything's a lot more opened up. It's I I like it. I'm actually I'm actually a fan. I think this site looks better than what it was. There's a pixel angle if you hold outside market to boba. Are you talking about this? Are you talking about this? Now you can like hold like this. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, okay. I mean, I like this too. I mean, I felt like before people would just peek here and it's just like kind of a mess, but there's actually designated on angles that you can play, um, which I do think is nice. So if people do take like this definitely uh, changes the way that you can approach the map. Like before, like I said, with Sunset, I think the issue was it was an Overwatch map in an, in this game. Like it was legit a hero shooter map and that kind of sucked, but I think because of this map, like look at how many spots you can play on site. You can play here, you can play here, you can play here. You can play really, wait, this is more tucked in, right? You can play here. You can play behind this side. You can play on this side. You can play here. Like there's so much like dynamic places you can play on site. That's really, really nice. And then also, let's say you were to like play this and you were to like proactively push towards market. Like you said, with this pixel angle, you could actually have someone like on a designated, like good angle to like watch spawn run out. Cause if, before, if you'd go right here, it would be kind of shit. And I do think this actually enforces people to do more market splits as well. Instead of just like hitting B over and over and just planting. I think market splits are genuinely better because instead of peeking out here and then there's legit like an entire fucking continent you have to clear in this angle where someone can be and just one tap you. There's only like this sliver you can die from, which I do think is pretty nice. Um, so I think the market splits will feel a lot better. And then plus, because of like the plant spot too, um, you don't even have to like take back site. You could technically like, I don't know if you're going to market split, you could like smoke here, smoke here, I guess, and do that. Or like, I guess you could play like brimstone or some shit and do like triple smokes. I don't, I don't really know, but I think there's more creativity of what you can do as a strategy wise that actually is more efficient than before um and i'm pretty glad they took out the god trip because i think the god trip is just terrible i think it was just terrible and unhealthy for the game wait how's this how's this spot right now oh wait the spots actually might be better now <laughs> actually i can't tell maybe it might be worse i think before actually no this spot's worse because before you'd come out and you'd be scared of a lot more angles but now it's like you're just like insanely able to like peek it and like get to here so one could just like hold it for the, the reswing okay but i do think that's pretty good my god trip is gone man no honestly the god trip being gone is actually pretty good because it allows for different sentinels to be played sunset was actually a map where it's cypher or just get fucked so i think maybe now people especially with the, the box and b main people can actually run like kj maybe oh this is an idea i haven't even seen like the stuff but i think other sentinels are more optimal or not more optimal but like they're actually able to be played and i think that's something that's pretty healthy i think the thing i like about valorant i have i would say there's like a, a love hate thing with Valorant, right i love the fact that there's a different cast of characters that you can play and you can be creative and like make your own fucking like make your own meta basically i think that's really cool but on the other side i hate it when it's something is so mid max to the point that everyone runs it and then you're basically playing budget counter strike it has to be in a way where the game is made like valorant and not made like cs okay so let's see um this wingman stun 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. How much larger is that? Oh my god, wait. The wingman stun will actually hit now. Dude, that thing was narrow as fuck before. That thing has range now. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think people can run past that. That that's actually good. That's that's huge. Did I think Gecko need a buff? Not really. But did I think Wingman was pretty shit outside of planting? It's a nerf. That is... I mean, the Wingman's a buff. I think the Flash is a nerf, right? Okay, the Flash lasts not as long. It activates faster now, though. Oh, yeah. It shoots faster than what it did. Which I actually think is good. I think having the Gecko Flash shoot faster as, as it is allows for Gecko to be a solar initiator. I, I think that was one thing that kind of lacked with Gecko, where people would just be like, oh my god, there's a thing. All right, there's one more thing. And then it's just kind of shit by itself. And so Gecko was only OP in the way of layering util. So if you combined Gecko Flash with another piece of Flash, let's say you ran like Gecko, Yoru, Gecko, KO, Gecko, Sky, something like that. The idea is if you flash them with um, the normal Flash and you throw your Gecko Flash afterwards, it kind of makes it impossible for the flash to be shot and it's a form of chain cc wait does the flash last not as long or am i crazy oh wait no it's just not it's just not working on the bots okay but okay this thing it shoots really fast now but it it drops way faster i think i think it's like at least like maybe half a second faster of a shot i could be wrong am i wrong okay yeah that i think i think they rather than this this gecko change being um is broken in rank throw i could see that i th but i think this gecko change rather than it being i mean it's kind of like a buff in a way it's a it's a yeah it's a buff honestly i, I think this gecko outside of the fact that the ult is now eight points i don't really think it's gonna change much i think hot take gecko ult should be nine points i think it's just up so often i think the i think the f oh the pickup time of gecko's ult uh yuto was lengthened as well oh was it Okay, well, I'll actually... Ooh, okay, that's way better. Yeah, the, the before it was a little bit too fast. Okay. There's more counterplay against Gecko for being able to trap Gecko when he tries to pick up his stuff. Like, half a second longer is actually a decent amount. I, I would say that's quite a lot better. You know what? Only time will tell with the ults. I, I still think that Gecko ult's pretty fucking annoying, especially if you can have it up so many times. Maybe one point would solve it. I don't know. But uh, who knows? Um, and then I don't think Mosh got changed at all. The flash got buffed. I mean, I just see the flash as a buff. I, th I think it's just better now because you can throw it as an actual flash ability rather than as chain CC ability. And the wingman stun, you can actually throw the wingman stun and it's kind of reliable, I would say. So, uh, you don't just have to constantly plant with it, which I do think is good. Wait, does the Utah run out faster too? Or am I crazy? Because I swear this Utah was up for way longer. This thing looks like it's draining down like a motherfucker. I actually think Gecko might be kind of balanced now. 20 to 15. Yeah, that's a lot of fast. Look how fast that runs out. That's that's a good change. You know what? Round of applause from Riot. The Riot, Riot dev team, you did good on this one. I actually think. I think this one is healthy. It makes the agent playable, but doesn't make the agent broken at all. It addressed some issues that Gecko currently has as an agent. I like. I, I do think... Good job. Actually, good job. I'll go into a TDM now. Let's see if I get the new map. I'm actually, I'm excited if we get the new map. But honestly, knowing Valorant, I'm going to load into a TDM lobby. And it's going to just load into Drift. Every single fucking time I play a TDM, I swear to God, first map is always Drift. And there's nothing I can do about it. Match. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Drift. Okay, no, it's District. Uh, I have to play a TDM until I get the new one, though. Um, this kind of looks like a Counter-Strike DM map. I don't know why it reminds me of that. Wait, do I have to look up here? Holy shit, what the fuck? Literally the same thing I said. Well, it looks like um, it looks like a Counter Strike 1.6 gun game map. That's that's the way that I would kind of look at it. What what map is this modeled after? I don't. Maybe I should try some other angles. I'm not even sure. Let's go this way. 
Holy fuck. Holy fuck, am I alive? Make no sense. There's like... This map has a decent amount of like verticality because there's both up and down angles. My mom just died so much. Oh my god. These angles are so like weird. I think it's a it's an interesting TDM map for sure. I'm not sure like how to what would be good place to go. Cuz I think if you swing out the right it feels like a this feels like constant death. Oh my god, I can't fucking see these colors, man. So rain is your weakness. Uh, anyone that's colored not yellow is my weakness. Am I shooting? Oh my god. Took the took the longest time in the world. Mm -hmm.